by watching seems like every catio video on YouTube as well as our own trial and error mm -hmm. with this project. We are now educated enough to help you avoid any catio design disasters. We'll cover a few very important topics as well as go on a little field trip. Let's get started. We apologize if this sounds negative. Our intent is to help you otherwise. When you offer food outdoors, it sends a signal that there's an open buffet. Wild hungry animals may go to extreme measures, perhaps tearing up or digging up under your catio. Having food in your catios invites strays or larger critters. After all, unwanted company causes stress, right? So only offer fresh water and please feed the felines indoors. Let's take a close-up look at gravel. Known as crushed stone, gravel is made up of unconsolidated rock fragments. Notice the sharp, jagged edges. This size is considered a cat deterrent. This stuff is great for industrial, but not soft, smooth kitty foot pads. Who wants to walk on something that hurts their feet? We have seen wood pallets used in catios. Pallets are made with rough cut wood and nailed in place. But it turns out that a pallet can be contaminated with toxic chemicals, harmful bacteria, or other icky bad stuff that you don't want around your cats. Look at those splinters. Older pallets were treated with methyl bromide, which is a toxic pesticide. For all these reasons, we do not recommend using wood pallets in your catio project. Abby loves her indoor cat tree, which is made of mostly carpet and particle board. Like most, this one is labeled for indoor use only. Let's take a look at this carpet swatch. Mmm, feels good under the nails. However, when the carpeted cat tree is placed outdoors, if it's not the rain, it's the outdoor humidity that causes problems. Mold spores are commonly found naturally in the air. When the spores land on wet or damp carpet, it can cause chronic allergies or upper respiratory infections. We're going to head over to the wire section. Looking for the least expensive option isn't always the best bet, especially if you're going through all that trouble to put it up. This type wire is the thinnest of them all. Unfortunately, it's prone to breaking, the loose end scratch, and it sags after it's installed. It's best suited for a chicken coop. Welded wire, on the other hand, is more durable. This 16 gauge is more flexible, but the strongest is a 14 gauge wire. Here's a glimpse of our 14 gauge wire. We've seen catios made of lattice work, but the trouble is, look at this opening. I see an accident waiting to happen. There are also screen catios. To avoid rips and tears, pet screening is the best bet. Look how thick it is. In fact, we've used it here in this walkway. Okay, did we leave any points out? We'd love to hear from you. We invite you to check out our YouTube channel for catio design ideas and other cat projects. Meow for now.